guys and welcome to this video to learn about sutures okay so let's start learning about the instruments so this is the needle holder okay so we are going to use this one to do the sutures and of course this would be the correct way to hold okay so you have your thumb on one of the circles and not this one the middle finger this one okay so this finger here and then the index finger holding closer to the tip okay so then you would be ready to do a very nice suture the thing is that now that you are holding like this if you need you can always rotate your uh, needle holder and then you still have three fingers available so you have three fingers available and then you can for example hold the scissors now to cut the suture when you are doing the procedure okay so if you are working by yourself without the dental assistant then of course you can use this and then you can always come back to the original position I'm using a silk 40 uh, sutures but you, of course you guys can use nylon and even resorbable sutures depending on the clinical situation silk sutures they are more firm they have less memory when you tight but then of course if they touch blood then they get moist okay so there is this disadvantage i prefer nylon myself but again depend on the clinical situation and on the preference of the surgeon all right so the first thing would be to open of course the package okay so someone would open usually for you because it's the stereo all right and then this part is stereo and it would be dropped on your surgical field if i open this first part here okay then i will find the needle and now i can pull the needle even using the needle holder all right so let's start by the interrupted sutures so the single sutures all right and then I'm going to go from buccal to lingual, okay? So please realize that I have a 90 degree angle between my needle holder and my needle, okay? Like this. Don't forget that we need to do this movement of rotation, okay? To capture from buccal to lingual. And now we go from buccal to lingual, okay? So from buccal, and then I will even, since both borders are, are close to each other, I recapture with my needle holder, okay? And now I need to pull the thread but of course there is the tongue of the patient and everything else so now i'm going to use the other hand and then the other fingers to help pulling the thread surrounding my fingers with the thread in order to avoid the needle to be far away from my surgical field so i'm pulling now the threads and now i need to do these movements so now i will do uh, one okay so i will rotate the thread i will i'm holding the needle with one hand and the needle holder with the other and now i will do one and then two okay clockwise so now i grab the tip of the thread and now i just pull but i will pull with this hand holding the needle uh, not with the hand of the needle holder okay because otherwise if i pull bo with both hands then i don't have space i will probably touch the tongue of the patient and the heart pellets I, will, I can touch the needle holder on the heart pellets and then this is not so good so i try usually to pull only with one hand okay that's the best thing that I can try here, all right? And then only at the end, I can try to pull with both hands, okay? And take a look at this. My knot is actually on the buccal mucosa, okay? Not on the top of the incision, okay? You don't want your knot close to the incision. You want your knot buccal. And never lingual as well because it's less comfortable for the patient, all right? Now I can do, uh, there are different theories accepted, but I usually do, that's the way I do, I do two, uh, uh, one, one, okay? So I did two rotations with the thread around my instrument. Now I will do only one, okay? So now I will do only one, still clockwise, okay? I capture the, the tip of the thread again, and then I will, I will finish my suturing procedure here. Okay, so now I will pull stronger and then I will, now the last one, I will do a counterclockwise, okay? So I will lock the knot and now I need to grab the tip with the other one, okay? So now I'm grabbing the tip again of the thread and the, close to the, the closer to the tip I am, even better, okay? So I grab closer to the tip like this and now I am pulling only with the hands holding the needle. All right, and take a look at this. Now I finish my suture. Okay, now of course I need to cut both of them. Okay, of course you guys will have a tweezer to help you guys. Okay, you can use a tweezer to assist in this, this procedure. That's your uninterrupted suture. Let's go for a continuous suture now. 
So for the continuous suture, we are going to start with the interrupted suture. Okay, so again, we are going to do one single suture, right? So again, from buckle to lingual, I capture my needle again, and then I can even lock my knots going the other way around, right? So counterclockwise, and then I hold uh, the, the thread again, and then I finish my suture, okay? Very good. However, instead of cutting the suture, I am going to continue as a continuous suturing procedure, all right? I go from buckle to lingual, all right? However, I will repeat this procedure. Okay, so if your, if your tip is like this, we release the tip of the thread, because it doesn't belong here. All right. And as much as I want, so it depends on the extension of my incision. All right, and now I will finish the procedure, okay? So I will not pull everything now, and then you guys will realize that I have this loop here, okay? I don't finish my loop, I will finish the knot with this loop, okay? Since I don't have an extremity, a free extremity of the thread. So again, the procedure of the knot, one, two, okay? Now I grab the loop and then I just finish the knot. And of course, I will have now three tips, okay? Why I have three tips? Because I cut the loop and the other one, the one of the needle, okay? So that's why I have now one, two, and three. For the horizontal mattress, I will start buckle, right? So I go buckle and then to lingual, of course. If the borders are far away from each other, capture first the buckle, your needle will come here, for example, in the middle of the socket, if there, if there was a socket, and then you capture only the lingual, okay? You don't need to capture buckle and lingual tissues at the same time. However, now I will come back from lingual to buckle. Lingual to buckle, all right, and then I just finish the knot. So we just go one, two, okay? counterclockwise, and then we capture the tip here, okay? And then we pull. Only one hand pulls, not the other one, okay? And now we are finishing our horizontal mattress. Another one which is very useful is the socket, the X suture, okay? So there are two ways of doing this. I'm going to go with the normal X type of suture. Let's understand that this is a socket of molar and then I want to suture the socket, even to keep the blood clot, to prevent food from entering. So we go buccal lingual first, okay? And don't forget, this is an X suture now, okay? And now buccal lingual again, in the mesial aspect of the socket, okay? So now I will pull, and I have, of course, this aspect, all right? I came from distal buccal, and I am coming out from uh, mesial palatal or mesial lingual. So one thing that you can do is to put your instrument in the middle so that you can help with your instrument to pull the thread, okay? So you pull one hand and pull your instrument, pull one hand and pull your instrument. And then we just finalize our sutures with that extremity. For the locking continuous suture, then when we do this procedure here, I will do first the single suture, and then when I keep going buccal lingual to mesial or to distal direction, now it's a little bit different because I have the looping and I want to pass my needle inside the looping first. Okay, so I will pass my needle inside the looping, all right, and then I continue the procedure. Okay. And this is the pattern that we have when we are doing the locking continuous suture. All right, and for the vertical mattress, of course, we need to start deep, right? So we do start deep buckle, okay? And then come back more superficial in the lingual, from the lingual to buckle. 
so like this aspects here and like this two different heights so if you guys like it please hit the like button and see you guys on the next videos